question 24. Now, we're being asked to work out the length of the perimeter of the shaded segment. So the length from A to B, so that's little a, added together with the curvy length, the, the length of the arc APB or BPA. Now, in order to do this, and uh, to work out either of those, we're going to need to know this angle here. Okay, And the, our, our, the fact that allows us to do this is we're told that the area of the sector AOPB is 5 pi. So the area of this whole thing is 5 pi. Now this is a part of a circle. It is x degrees worth of a circle. So we can work out what x is by um, by just using the formula for the area of a uh, of, of a sector. So our angle, which is x, divided by 360 degrees multiplied by the area of as if it was a whole circle so pi r squared pi times 6 times 6 so this is the um, area of the sector and yet we're told this equals 5 pi so this is the key working this is the key bit for the whole question make sure you understand this okay so whatever our degrees is worth of 360 multiplied by the area of the circle equals 5 pi from then onwards it's fairly straightforward 6 6 is a 36 we've got a pi on both sides so they cancel uh, 360 divided by 36 divided by 360 is a tenth so x over 10 equals 5 so x equals 50 degrees so we know this is 50 degrees that's the key bit. From then onwards, it's fairly straightforward. So to work out the length of the arc APB, well, this is 50 degrees worth of the circumference of the circle. So 50 over 360, 50, of course, coming from the working we've just done, multiplied by the uh, formula for the length of the circumference, which is 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius, so 12 lots of pi. 50 over 360 times 12 pi is 5 thirds pi. Now I'm just leaving it like that as that's um, exact. Okay, So that's the length of the arc APB. Now to work out the length from A to B, which I'm calling little a, let's go back to this triangle where we know two sides and we know the angle in between. So we, um, we could use the sine rule if we did it in two or three steps, but we can just use the cosine rule and do this in one go. The cosine rule, which is given, tells us that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. I've labelled that up accordingly. Our angle is capital A. Our opposite side, which is what we need to work out, is little a. I'm calling this b and I'm calling this c. So substituting in to the formula, we get this. This gives us a squared being 25.719. So when we square root, we get a being 5.0714. Now the area of the perimeter is this length, the straight length added to the curvy length. So uh, 5.0714 added to 5 thirds pi gives us 10.307. And that is 10.3 to three significant figures.